guys, Rabbit Your Girl here again with another video. Well, today I have a real special video for you guys. I know I haven't been here in a long time, um, but I have another project that I've been working on. Um, There's like the last couple of months have, hasn't been really a good timing for me to make videos and to be, you know, physically, emotionally ready to make videos, I guess. You know, because usually when I make videos, I want to be really, you know, happy and excited. And, and back there... It was not happy and excitement. But today, I want to show you guys my... Uh, here, I want to show you guys my birds. I know I went from rabbit tree girl to guinea pigs to <laughs> to pigeons, quails. Uh, just a bunch of stuff, you know, I've had in this channel. Just a bunch of stuff. You never know what's going to happen, honestly. You never know what next project I have in mind. And I know my hair is like literally a mess right now. I just finished putting up this case together, so it was a, a wreck. But anyways, um, um, so I'm going to show you guys my bird room. Here we go. I still have a lot to work on in this bird room. Um, I have to take that out. Uh, I have to, like, little, little stuff out here and stuff. I have to move out of the way and stuff. This is a crate right here. Um, I'm selling it, so that's why it's right there. But it's going to be out. This is uh, where I handle my birds because my birds, it is not dirty. It just looks like that, but it's not dirty. Um, so my birds, um, you know, some of them came from breeders. And some of them came from pet stores. You know, guys, I, you know that I sell my animals in Petco and PetSmart and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so they told me, hey, we need more uh, budgie or parakeet breeders and cockatiel breeders. So I got some, uh, these guys actually I got from a breeder here in where I, here where I live. So they're not real tame. Just because they're like a breeding pair and stuff. But I'm not sure if... I'm not sure if this is a male or female or this is the male or female. I'll show you guys really close up for you guys can tell me. Because I really don't know a lot about cockatiels. But I know a lot about parakeets because I've raised them before. Um, so, yes. This is the flying cage that I purchased for them. So, it looks like that. My son is on the way. But it looks like this. So, in the setup, uh, they're a bit skittish. Because I literally just put them in this new... Um, habitat here so they're not they haven't been here for like an hour I learned to just move them from this cage over here it's pretty big all my cages are pretty big to this cage over here there's a flying cage for parakeets I only have three budgies three parakeets here um, as you can see they're all yellow I decided to go with the yellow breed uh, Latino how they say um, so yes this is their setup right here they got a bunch of toys and a bunch of perches and this kind of perch right here, this yellow one, uh, blue one right here. It's a sand perch. And then they got their their mineral block over there. They got a bunch of little toys. They got their, um, right there, the calcium and stuff. The cut a bone. They got a little ladder right there. I think it's pretty cool. Um, they're, they're not, they're not ready to breed right now at this moment. So they're kind of growing up, you know. And the cage actually came with these um, feeders. So this is the water right here. And that one over there is the seeds to feed. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much uh, what this cage looking like. That's another perch over there. Um, I do go a lot, a lot with natural perches. As you can see, there's another natural perch right there. Uh, these perches, actually, these ones right here, these ones right here, these ones right there, this one, uh, came with the cage. So I put them up, I scrape them a little bit with a knife. So I kind of like scrape them a little bit with a knife just to make sure they're not, you know, real bad for their, for the little, um, feet and stuff. So I want to make sure they're okay. Um, but I'm going to use them a little bit just until I have to go to work right now real fast. Uh, so I, real fast, I'm just shooting this video for you guys real fast. But yeah, um, sorry guys, I went to do something real quick. But anyways, um, yeah, so they have, you know, their, uh, their toys up there, the ladder, more toys, more toys, and then the singing perch, um, the cut a bone, the little ladder there, real cute. And then of course over here they have, um, I'll show you the bottom. They're really not going to go on the bottom, I assume. I don't know, maybe, maybe they will. So I put another perch over here and I put another perch Right there, and a little toy right there. And then it kind of looked like that. Yeah, so there they are. 
These are the parakeets. As close as I, I can get. They're kind of scared, you know, skittish. You know, it's okay though. Mama. They'll, get, they'll get used to it. Mama, you? Mama, you? Mama, you? I'm gonna close this. Mama. It's real neat here how it closes this. Look at this. So you put it up like this, right? And then you put it in here. It's real cool how they close. There you go. So that's how it closed this cage. I literally just got this cage like an hour ago. I don't know. A little bit over an hour ago maybe. So, um. Yeah. Um. So Peko, I don't know if you guys know this, but I've been working with Peko for how many years? Um, I've been working with Peko for like like two years, maybe three years already. Um, I've been selling them guinea pigs, only my local one. I, I don't do international, okay, like the other ones. I I only do local, okay. <laughs> I don't do it everywhere. Um, my guinea pigs. I stopped raising guinea pigs, guys. I stopped raising rabbits. Uh, so I'm gonna focus now on birds. Uh, this is what they want me to do. So this is what I'm gonna do. I sell birds. I'm gonna sell them the birds. And I'll sell cockatiels too. I've been doing a lot of research, guys. A lot, a lot of research. This is a huge cage, by the way. I've been doing... They are messy birds. <laughs> I've been doing a lot, a lot of research about these birds, about cockatiels. I, I know a lot about, um, parakeets, so... I think I have a good idea of parakeets, but a cockatiel, I've been, I've had a pet cockatiel like seven years ago. That's a long time. And I've been doing my recent cockatiels, um, real, real good birds, real impressive, smart birds, cockatiels are. Uh, I'm going to show you their cage. They're not tame, like I said, so they do bite, but I haven't really like, I had not like a time to like pet them and stuff because they bite, they hiss on me. It's got like a cat, but this is what they are. These are Latino cockatiels. Um, so basically, what they are is just yellow. Um, so they have here their toy, their cutter bone. Uh, right now, this one right here, this one right here, and this side, she she can't really see her. This one right here, right there, that one. She's seven months old, so she's a baby. I don't know if it's a she or he. I don't know. But she's a baby. I'm going to say she. I don't know what they are, though. Um, they have more toys over here, which they are loving that toy, of course. Look at that. They're loving that toy right there. Uh, they have another toy over there. It's like a shredding thing. They have the water right there. Their perch right here. Um, they got more toys over here. Cut a bone. More toys right there. Another perch right here. Um, so you see, pretty cool. They have another perch in the other side right there. And they have another toy right there. Uh, so they have in total, oh, they have another sand perch right here. I'm not sure if you guys caught that. They have a total of one, two, three, four perches, I believe. Yeah, I have to get some more perches for them. But I haven't had the chance um, to, to do that. But I will do it definitely this week. Um, yeah, so this is their cage. This is a huge, huge cage for them, uh, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so in the next couple months, I'm gonna give them, I don't know, I have to see if they're a bonding pair. If not, I have to purchase another bonding pair, I guess. Uh, but I'm gonna see who's female, who's male. You can actually tell, but they're pretty little. I don't, I don't, I'm not real sure. I just know that the females will have a sear. They have brown, brown sear. And males will have blue sear on parakeets. I'm not sure about these guys, but if I... You know, get closer. Maybe you guys can tell me. But the reflection of the window out there, I'm not really sure you guys can really even see. But I'm trying my base here. Uh oh. Well, they don't like each other, that's for sure. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I don't know. I don't think so. But anyways, we have another cage here, just in case this one doesn't work. We're gonna separate them if it doesn't work for them. I'm assuming I don't know. I don't know. Probably they're both males. I don't even know. But we'll, we'll see. We'll end up we'll end up knowing. Or females. Maybe both females. You know, they're very territorial and stuff. But I don't know. We'll see what they are, though. Um, But yeah, guys. This is pretty much my setup for right now. This is my setup. I have three cages. This cage. Uh, this is where my cockatiels. My cockatiels. My parakeets were in. 
in this cage right here. So there's pretty much nothing no more here. There's nothing. So yeah, clean it out. I'm thinking I'm gonna put a pair of lover birds in this cage. A pair of lover birds. I'm not real sure though. I'm not real positive. Or canaries or finches. I'm not really sure what I'll put there. But this is my project. I hope you guys uh like this video, comment this video, and subscribe to this channel because there's gonna be a lot of good stuff happening in this channel. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Hope you guys had an amazing day if it's already night and you're and we're we're you're seeing watching this. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Like always, God bless. Goodbye.